Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be talking about slide film, or more specifically, Codex Ectochrome E100. Now slide film is also known as E6. Uh, that's because there are six specific baths required in order to process it. But that is a process that is far too advanced for me to discuss. There will be lots of other videos giving you much more information than I possibly could about that online. But today we're just going to talk about actually shooting the slide film, the pros, the cons, and whether or not it might be right for you. So slide film actually produces a positive frame rather than a negative, which means that your frames will look like this, as opposed to like this. And I'll put on screen a bit better of an example for you here now. So each frame actually shows you exactly what you saw through the viewfinder, as opposed to having a negative, which then needs to be converted and scanned in order to be able to see it as it looks. Now it does tend to be less forgiving than C41, but it does produce more vivid, true to life colors. Now it is usually more expensive. So this roll of B100 cost me 20 quid. Then obviously you've got your development costs on top. So beware because wasting frames with slide film is even more costly than with normal regular C41 35 millimeter. Now, Ectochrome itself is known for extremely rich detail, really good resolution, true to life colors, and very fine grain. However, it does tend to be quite saturated, which can be a pro or con depending on the photographer and, of course, depending on the subject matter. So, in terms of lessons that I've learned shooting slide film, the first one would be make sure you have enough light. Uh, because slide film does tend to be relatively light, so 50, 100, maybe 200. Uh, and as mentioned before, it's not quite as forgiving. If you miss your exposure by a stop, a stop and a half, you might end up not even getting anything that's salvageable at all from those frames. Also, if you're shooting in bright sunny conditions like on this shoot, what you might have to do is sacrifice either the detail in the shadows or the detail in the highlights because the latitude isn't wide enough in order to be able to get both of them in the same shot. So, for example, in these shots, I sacrificed detail in the shadows because I didn't want to have super blown out. Now, another thing is I love having slides like this. I love having the physical things that you can look at. You don't need to put it through a converter. You've got these actual uh, slides that show exactly what you, uh, what you saw through the viewfinder. I just think they're really nice to have. Uh, I think they're really nice to look at. And, uh, and yeah, you can, uh, you can make some nice contact sheets with these as well. Now, it's not something that I'm gonna shoot all the time. Um, it's very costly. Um, and it's not forgiving. So if you've got the right conditions for it, fantastic. But if you're shooting in low light or if you might be shooting in interchangeable conditions, for the money, the risk is too high of not getting something that you want. So I would always go for something like a, a, an ISO 400 or an ISO 800 C41 film that I know you can push a couple of stops um, without sort of suffering too much. But on the flip side, if it is something that uh, I know that I'm going to be able to control the conditions or if it's in, something that's important to myself and I think that I can make it work, the slide film would definitely be a consideration because of all the pros that I've already mentioned. So the fact that you tend to get really fine grain, so you get sharp images. Uh, the, I mean, the colours do tend to be true to life, so you don't need to worry about having a particularly warm image like with, uh, with some Kodak films. Uh, it's Kodak C41 films, or like maybe a green or a magenta, like with some Fuji C41 films. With the with slide film, you know you're going to get something that's pretty much true to life. So there are pros and cons to it, but it all for me it all depends on what I'm shooting and what conditions I'm going to be in. So a huge thanks to Sophia for shooting all the behind the scenes footage that you've seen in this video. Uh, she also shot a video with Sav, so make sure you go and check that out. And we actually both did another shoot on the same day uh, that we've already released videos for where we shot some Fuji medium format films. So make sure you check those out as well. Everything will be down in the description. Huge thanks to Sav as well. Every single time that I shoot with Sav, we have an absolute ball. Make sure you go and check her out on social media. Um, her energy is absolutely infectious and she's just actually moved back to New York City. So hope that she's settling back in there. But now it's over to you. Let me know down in the comments have you shot slide film before? Did you enjoy it? Is it something that you've thought about shooting? Uh, is it something that you'd like to, or can you just not justify the cost? Or 
because you're maybe early in, early on in your film photography uh, journey, you don't really feel that confident shooting something that's not quite as forgiving. But let me know everything down in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. And other than that, I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.